This test is called the Rosazarin test, and it's looking for the quality of the milk. So again, I have two samples in front of me, sample one and sample two, and I have a solution of Rosazarin. So there's about 10 mils of sample one and 10 mils of sample two. So I'm gonna take the lid off um, both the samples, and I'm gonna add in one mil of um, the, the Rosazarin into each of the uh, samples. So one of the samples is raw milk, and one of the samples is uh, pasteurized milk. So one is control, and the other is uh, the test sample. So we add in about one mil sample to each. We're gonna put the lid back on it again, and then we're gonna incubate the sample at 37 degrees for 10 minutes. If we notice any kind of color change um, between sample one and sample two, then um, it's indicating that there's some bacteria growth. Now, as you can see at the start, I'll give them a good shake here. As you can see at the start, both samples are good. Um, well, well they're, a, a, they're like a blue color. So sample one, sample two, they're both the same color um, the, uh, at the start. So we're gonna incubate them, put them into the incubator at 37 degrees for 10 minutes. And here we have sample one and sample two that I just put in. Ten minutes ago. All right. And as you can see, the big difference here: sample one has changed like a pink color, and sample two still remains the bluey color as it was in the beginning. So, because it has changed color, that there must have been some bacterial activity in the sample that caused um, that caused the color change, and we can talk about that in the class.